Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. And as always, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, you can find all of that on the description box below. All right, my lovelies, as you guys know, it is Blue Moon tonight. It is a celestial event. And this spell I'm bringing to you guys because I'm sure you guys have this in your home. It is very easy, very simplistic, but very powerful. And this spell is primarily done on full moons. Or if you are on a journey to start a new business or to want to uh, revamp your business or to bring in more finances, then you can do this obviously in a full moon. But it is preferred to use it on to use this type of spell for powerful celestial events like tonight, the blue full moon and solar eclipses. Primarily, I stick to that. And this is the spell that I do. It is extremely easy, but very powerful, you guys. And all you really need is a green candle, a bay leaf, an egg shell. Now, you don't, when you're cutting the egg, when you're tapping the egg, you want to make a very small hole so that you can drain the egg and then wash it and cleanse it. Let it dry for a good 10, 15 minutes, and then you're able to use it, okay? You're also going to be using something to hold the bay leaf as we are going to be burning the bay leaf. And I'm using my knife here. You guys can use anything to make the hole for the egg and as well to inscribe on your candle, okay? Florida water, consecrated water, or blessed holy water. Uh, you can use for the candle to prepare it and make sure that it's good to go. You're also going to be needing a black marker or Sharpie and a lighter. Okay, it's very easy, you guys, very simplistic, but I guarantee you guys are going to be blown away by the results that you get. Like I said, whenever you see this video, let's say we've already passed the blue moon, you can use it on any full moon, any new moon as well. But if you really want to amp the energy, you want to really see amazing results, I would stick with celestial events, like I said, solar eclipses or um, solar eclipses or full moons, preferably. Why? Because the energy is so powerful. It brings and renders amazing results, you guys. And like I said, I'm sure you have all of these ingredients. So let's get to the needy greedy. This spell is for those of you guys that are wanting to bring money into your life quickly in the most quickest way. And um, for those of you guys that are running businesses that are not doing that good, tonight is a perfect day to do it. Now, you could do it at any time during the day or in the evening or even in the night or even at midnight. Doesn't matter. I would stick with preparing it um, before you get to the 9 p.m. 9 p.m. is Venusian time and it will render you better results. And then you dispose of it either, like I said, at 9 p.m. Or if you want to stick with the midnight, you can also do the midnight, okay? All right. If you're doing it and you want to try it out any other day, you can make sure to stick with new moons, uh, new moon faces. And make sure to do it either on a Thursday or a Friday, preferably. Why? Because those are the days, uh, Thursdays are for money and Fridays are witching days as you guys know so it is extremely powerful and it gives you amazing results all right my lovelies what are we going to do we're going to get the candle you're going to cleanse it and consecrate it obviously as you guys can see we've already prepared everything but you want to rub the holy water or the consecrated water or whatever it is that you're using to cleanse it if you don't have holy water you can always go to olive oil rub it make sure to cleanse it empower it, put your hands over it, do a prayer. I call upon my wise and loving spirit, guide spirits of light and love. I ask you to please step forward to assist me, use me as a channel uh, to be able to empower and strengthen the spell that is about to commence. Once you do that, uh, we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so let's begin so that you guys don't get confused. Very simple. You're going to write your first name, last name, date of birth going up going towards the wick okay first name last name date of birth you're going to turn it and you're going to write down money comes to me okay money comes to me all right very simple 
Now you're going to get the egg and what we're gonna do here is we're going to inscribe it with a number that is gonna draw in that money, that abundance. Now, I will tell you guys the number. Give me one second. Let me write it down really quick. 714-732-1893. All right. Why are we doing this? Because this is the money abundance. It's really for money and success. So you're going to write down the number. As you guys can see here, it is 714-2732-1893, okay? Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to get the egg. Keeping in mind, I'm hoping that you guys have either cleansed yourself in the last seven days or done something to remove any blockages or anything like that, like a road opener or something like that. Um, so you're going to write that down and it's going to look like this. Now you're going to pass this egg, right? Just the eggshell. You're going to pass it all over your body, starting from your head all the way to your feet. Why? Because we're trying to pull your energy into the egg, right? The egg is going to serve as a vessel to bring to us what we're wanting to manifest, okay? All right. So once that is done, my lovelies, what you're going to do now is you're going to get the bay leaf. We're going to put this here to the side. And you're going to write down the amount of money that you're trying to draw in. Be very specific and write down the number, okay? Now, what I do is I write down the number and I also spell it out. Why? Because it carries words, obviously, carry vibrations as well as numbers, depending on what it is that you're trying to draw in. Let's say you're doing this tonight because you're financially struggling right now and you need to pay your mortgage, you need to pay your car, you need to, whatever it is that you need the money for. You're going to write down the specific amount, okay? So you would write down the specific amount on the bay leaf. Like I said, you can write the number and you can write, write it out, spell it out, okay? So we're going to write it down. Okay, once you have written down the amount on the bay leaf that you're going to be using, now you're going to get your, what you're going to hold the bay leaf with. Okay, and we're going to burn it. Now, in this process, it's important to continuously keep repeating this enchantment, and I will write it down in this description box below so that you guys can see, okay? So you're going to burn. Abundance of money come to me. Through this enchantment, I set myself free. I call upon the powers both for, far and wide to manis, manifest riches like an unstoppable tide. As I chant these words with intention and strength, a path to wealth forms. I now embrace. With gratitude, I open myself to receive the gift of prosperity in which I believe. This money enchantment I cast into the abyss, the cosmos, my fortune, shall. Abundance of money come to me. Through this enchantment I set myself free. I call upon the powers both far and wide to manifest riches like an unstoppable tide. As I chant these words with intention and strength, a path to wealth forms I now embrace. With gratitude, I open myself to receive the gift of prosperity in which I believe. This money enchantment I cast into the abyss, the cosmos, my fortune shall rise. Abundance of money now materialize. You're going to do this prayer three times. Once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to get the bay leaf ashes and you're going to put them into the egg. Okay. Now, keeping in mind, because we burned the bay leaf, 
we're using the element of fire and earth, okay? Which means uh, the fire energy is to facilitate, make it happen quickly. All right, so once that is done, you have the option, you guys, to add some cinnamon. You don't have to, but I am. Why? Because as you guys know, and I've taught you guys, cinnamon brings in things very quickly. It is a facilitator. It makes things come in very quick. All right. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to light the candle and we're going to take our sweet ass time burning it and melting it. Burning it and melting the wax into the egg. As you guys can see here, take your time with this. You guys can't stress this enough. You cannot rush this type of work. And like I said, when you're doing this, um, make sure to continuously keep doing the prayer. I'm probably going to forward the video just for time purposes. The whole purpose of melting the wax into the egg is not necessarily to cover the whole of the egg, but more so to uh, seal the ashes of the bay leaf into the egg, okay? Why? Because when we're done with this, we're going to be burying this in the front entrance of our home or our garden. Now, as you guys can see here, the wax is uh, filling up the egg and that's more so along the lines of what you're wanting to do, okay? So once we are done with this and once it is sealed, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this egg with the number and the ashes of the bay leaf and we're going to bury it at the entrance of our home or in our garden. Now for those of you guys that live in apartments or let's say you don't necessarily own the property that you're in, or you don't feel comfortable or you don't want your nosy ass neighbors to see what you're doing you can always take yourself to the store to home depot or whatever uh, you have available a walmart etc um, and you guys can get yourself a small pot you can bury the egg in that plant uh, and nurture and take care of the plant keeping in mind that um, obviously the more you take care of it, the more you water it, the more you're going to be seeing amazing results. Now, once this is in the ground, once it is buried, uh, like I mentioned to you guys, we are using fire element as well as earth element. And earth element is one of the most stable uh, elements that you can use when you're looking for, uh, when you're doing spell work that you're wanting long lasting results. So again, once this is done, I will show you guys, we will forward the video so you guys can see for time purposes. And uh, once it is done, we're going to be burying it in our garden. Okay, my lovely, so it's going to look something like this, as you guys can see. It is completely sealed, and we are set. I'm going to wait a couple of minutes so that I can cool off the wax inside, and then we are going to be burying it in our garden. So I hope you guys tried this out. If you do come back, let us know what was your results. And for those of you guys that didn't use a complete candle like I didn't in this situation, I'll be able to use that candle for any other type of money workings. The more you use ingredients um, or the more use you make of them like this in this situation, you're not wasting. You are continuously using it for money spells. It empowers more, my lovely. So I wish you guys the very best. Happy blue full moon to all of you guys out there. And we will see each other soon. Till then, bye bye.
ਕੁਝ